Hi, I'm Daniel and today I'm going to show you the SketchUp extension dedicated to the steel constructions. The name of the plugin is the Metal Fab. You can find it in the extension warehouse or in the dedicated web page that you can find in the description below. Please check this video to see how it works and what you can achieve by using it. After you install the extension, you will get a toolbar button with all the buttons. Let's place it here. You can also find the extension in the main menu, DBS, Metal Fab, and all the functions are also placed here. Uh, also, you can find the extension information when you press the about button, about position, and uh, you can check, for example, the version of the current version of the extension, or you can contact me, or you can visit uh, the website. What is also interesting mm, in this menu, you can at every point you can use the the, the license. Open this window, and uh, what's new here? Uh, it's this this option so sometimes when you don't remember your licenses or you can't find it or you uh, you are not sure which email did you use to purchase it uh, at every moment you can place your email address uh, here and uh, use the send me my licenses button and after a few seconds, you will receive the email uh, with your all licenses for the uh, for this extension. Uh, in this case, mm, you could use uh, the, this license code uh, to put in this uh, uh, this place and to activate the, the license. Of course, don't use this license code. It will not work for you, but I uh, just wanted to show you because many of uh, many people uh, send me an email and uh, ask me about the licenses. Uh, in this extension, you can do it by yourself and uh, it takes a few seconds to, uh, to receive your, all your licenses. Mm. If you miss the email, uh, you will also uh, get a uh, notification that on this email there is no licenses uh, for this extension, for example. Yeah. So, um, extension has uh, the, the, the graphics for the buttons uh, quite similar to the um, native extension uh, SketchUp buttons. Let me know uh, if you like it or if you uh, or you prefer when the buttons are uh, different. Maybe it's I'm not sure. Let me know. Uh, I'm open to any uh, feedback from you. So if you struggle with something, something, or if you would like to change something, or maybe add some functionality. Please let me know and send send me an email or a message. Email is the best communication. So this extension allows you to draw uh, many kind of profiles, pipes, and tubes. Yeah? Uh, this um, it was made from the my previous extension pipes profile stoops uh, but uh, how it works uh, the, 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 the way of works is a little bit different uh, because first you need to start from the um, library so after you install the extension you need to open the library uh, which in this case is not, not uh, empty but when you 
when you install the extension the library will be empty so when you try to uh, draw any uh, profile uh, even if you uh, choose the type of the profile there will be no uh, any any profile to to choose from so first uh, so first you need to add uh, to the library the profiles for example let's let's add one profile in this video i'm going to show you the mm, one by one all steps needed to use the extension and on all uh, the features of the extension so mm, it may take some time but if you're interested uh, mm, i invite you to to stay with me to the end uh, to see how it works and mm, how you can use it okay so let's uh, add mm, the the one pipe for example 200 millimeters uh, by 20 millimeters i use millimeters but this extension uh, cover all uh, sketchup units so you can switch from unit to unit as you wish uh, this is the profile code name so it's up to you to use your own uh, system uh, profile code name has to be unique in your library um, in this example I um, make the prefix like this and uh, some uh, and uh, follow it by uh, the dimensions I said the type of the profile it's a round profile uh, in this case it's a pipe so 200 millimeters uh, by 20 millimeters so take a look I uh, I place the 20 uh, the 2 and 0 mm, digits and when I press enter uh, it will add the millimeters so because this the the current the current units of the this model are millimeters uh, when i pre change the precision and uh, for example press um, uh, change something yeah, uh, i will get the dimension in exact uh, model units uh, let's change it uh, again to the uh, millimeters without uh, without uh, any additional precision so this is basic uh, dimensions for the uh, for the profile uh, that we are going to add to the library but so I can press save now so I add the first one let's add the second pipe uh, for example let it be uh, 100 uh, times 10 millimeters uh, again millimeter 200 oh uh, 100 and 10 millimeters but in this case let's uh, also um, put additional information to this profile uh, you can uh, uh, set the uh, norm for for this shape uh, like uh, f I don't know because there are many of them in the all over the world so it's up to you um, I don't remember mm, particular one in that moment but let's leave it like this and you can also place the SKU uh, parameters so if you if you have any system in your company and you uh, use the numbers to identify the uh, mm, the object that the, the, the product to to buy uh, you can uh, set the, this uh, number and then on the export on the uh, report of the used parts you will also get uh, this number yeah so for example uh, p uh, like a profile or uh, i don't know one, one two three just for the example yeah there is also a few additional um 
possible data to store uh, which we are not going to use uh, so often at the moment but in the future in the future uh, I am plan to, to, to use them uh, more in that case let's uh, prefer one let's let's put the info prefer one yeah so let's save it uh, so we have uh, two pipes right now uh, let's add next profile uh, let's say rectangular one uh, 200 by 100 by 10 millimeters let's use um, 200 100 and 10 millimeters save and when we create a long list of the profiles there is a search functionality so for example if you would like to find the preferred one uh, you can always place uh, you can also uh, always put the prefer uh, text few first the letters and you will get the the, the the profile where in the info there is a, a note that this one is prefer preferred one yeah or uh, also you can use the dimensions and uh, uh, things things like that yeah so it's very helpful so when we add the profiles to the library we can close it mm, and we can and for example we would like to draw a profile yeah so let's use this tool this uh, this button uh, open the draw tool so when i press it uh, i will get the, the window so now to draw something i need to select the profile and those profiles are um, can be selected only for, for from the library so first uh, to draw any you need to add the new one for example uh, round profiles and you will get the, the list of round profiles here let's choose this one 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 button second button uh, there's also a few additional options uh, to use but maybe we will uh, get back uh, to them to them mm, later yeah. Uh, if I would like to change the, the the profile, let's change the profile here, profile code name, yeah. And now I use the uh, different one. Also, I can choose the, the this uh, rectangular one, yeah, and and draw uh, this profile. Uh, take a look that. There is a um, details um, label, but at this point, because this is the release version of the extension, there is a long, very long list uh, of functionality that are going to be implemented in the future. But I just wanted to show you that there will be uh, additional information like the note or uh, SKU or um, info. Uh, from the library that you use. Also, take a look that there is a, a li label and the select select position to to choose the library. In this moment, there is only user library. Uh, but let's uh, let's be a uh, for you. Let this be for you a. Uh, small hint that in the future in the future there will be more options uh, to use and uh, there will be not only user libraries to use but also for example to download from the server and uh, use the uh, specific companies products and things like this yeah but for today for the release version you can only use the mm, your own configured profiles 
Okay, so to draw the profile, you can use this uh, draw tool. You can also open the library and by using uh, this mm, this draw mm, hyperlink, uh, when I press it, I draw I drew, draw at the moment this profile. Uh, when I use uh, this one, I, I switched to a different one. So it's up to you that you if you prefer to change the profile here or uh, in the draw tool window or uh, straight from the library uh, you can use search search function function to uh, to to filter the profiles from the library and then use some of them things like that the workflow it's uh, it's up to you so uh, uh, you need to uh, find your uh, best that that will work best for you yeah okay so the draw, draw tool is uh, one option to draw profiles and the second one let's delete them and the second one is um, draw from edges so let's uh, draw simply an object when I select uh, all all mm, all of this geometry, I can use uh, this uh, button to delete faces from the selection. So now I uh, created the uh, I have only the edges, and and now I can, for example, I can select only uh, those edges and uh, open the generate from edges uh, button you we will get the window similar to the draw tool uh, window but it's uh, a little bit different because draw tool is a tool that inter interacts uh, with uh, your ma mouse move and mouse uh, clicks uh, but this one this option draw from edges does not interact with with the mouse so First, you need to select the edges and then the same, select the, the profile and uh, uh, if you would like, you can, uh, you can uh, add additional offset. So let's, let's draw it without the offset. At this moment, I press uh, enter. Uh, oh, my... Uh, so I press enter and the uh, pipes are, lo are long uh, exact as the edges were. Yeah, I press, uh, I um, make under and let's say, let's draw, draw them again. Oh, this one, let's draw it again. But in that case, let's uh, add 200 millimeters or oh, maybe not 200, but 100 millimeters additional offset so in this case in this case uh, the pipe is uh, longer 100 millimeters than the edge was and in next step let's select those edges and let's make minus 30 millimeters offset offset yeah so we get so we get uh, the the pipes uh, shorter than the edges and what I'm going to show you that in the previous extensions you could profile cut all all those uh, mm, pipes Mm, to 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 uh, to the mm, to make the connection, let's say f between those two pipes. Uh, in previous extension, you could use this uh, button, which is extrude and profile uh, cut pipe end. So I could I could uh, select all the uh, every pipe end, press OK button, 
and uh, and uh, create the profile cut uh, the same for the second end yeah so i i could uh, i i needed to press every end of of the the pipe but in this extension let's uh, make undo in this extension i improved that because when i select first the the, the pipes and uh, more than one pipe uh, at this moment and i use this button extrude and profile cut all of those pipes will be profile profile cut at once uh -huh, my uh, i can see my pc is slowed down very much uh, because of the recording this video but in real world let's say uh, when your uh, computer is not so slow and uh, you don't record two screenshots at once it will work uh, much quicker yeah so what you can see all those pipes was were uh, draw were uh, profile cut it one one to one yeah or oh, maybe or oh, maybe it's because i put segmentation parameter uh, very big let's change change it to 100 what is segmentation parameter uh, i'm going to tell you in next uh, few minutes let's change it to 100 and what i'm going to show you as well yeah i delete delete those pipes let's get back to the generate from edges tool because i also add the interesting uh, option so i can select those edges uh, i can use this um, this uh, checkbox extrude and cut uh, i also need to add to some offs offset uh, with minus distance and uh, at this point when i use the draw from edges it will create the edges and all of them will be profile cut it at both ends yeah so let's let's uh, talk a little bit now let's talk a little bit about the parameter which is segmentation so every pipe like, like in the, the sketchup mm, every single has its uh, segments yeah so it's it's a circle but uh, let's explode uh, this circle explode curve so now it's not one uh, circle but it's uh, made of edges yeah so this extension lets you to, uh, to 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 set how many edges every pipe uh, pipe uh, will have as well as for any other profiles created with this extension yeah to check how many how many edges the profiles have you can you can all always uh, show the hidden hidden geometry so now you can see how many edges every pipe has so uh, before when i said the 300 uh, segments it took uh, uh, some time to to create those uh, pipes and uh, from one hand smaller segments uh, are preferred because the whole operations are quicker and the model it uh, it's uh, smaller and uh, works much smoother but when you create profile cuts i uh, i um, suggest you to use the bigger values because uh, please please see what what will happen okay i can change this for example for 12 12 segments nothing changed but when i 
try to change the length and if the profile has a uh, profile cut at the, at the end and I use the length tool to change the length of this pipe it will ask me if it's okay uh, to lose this shape because after changing the length uh, I need to change I need to recreate the pipe and the uh, profile cut will gone but uh, so you, we can continue and change the length or we can cancel if it's uh, very important for, to us to to leave the profile cut we can always use the offset length and then i can uh, add the uh, the length or uh, subtract the length of the pipe and in that case the the shape will stay so i will not lose the shape yeah just just to want to show you mm, the functionality of and the difference between the length tool and the offset tool but when i use the length tool and i press ok and when i change it it will recreate the pipe and use the segmentation that we set uh, earlier in the that we change in second uh, so in the settings earlier yeah so now this pipe has far less segments than this one what does what 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 this mean when i profile cut this pipe to the sec to the first one yeah let's hide for example the the and hide this one yeah the profile cut will be not so smooth but it's quicker and it's um, so it's always a matter of uh, choosing as as precise do the, the shapes do you need uh, do you need the the shape like this or or do you need the shape like this maybe some of those information that i'm explained to you uh, it's uh, obvious for you and it's great but uh, maybe there are a few people that uh, that those information are not so obvious so uh, they can they can learn uh, something yeah so when you when you uh, turn off or, or turn on hidden geometry you can always see how how many segments the profile has okay uh, in the future this operation like profile cut for all the profiles created uh, with this function there will be also meter cut function option and uh, the, the offset option and uh, probably a few more but at the release version uh, i add only the extrude and profile cut in this uh, window and also you can use the use this uh, use this uh, operation for more than one pipe when you first select pipe and uh, the next step uh, use this button in the windows when you move mouse above the toolbar button you will get the hint so you can read here uh, that for the multiple uh, object process first select several elements and for the single use this button and process each uh, each part in individually in the mac there is no those hints so it's it's uh, a little bit a little bit harder to sometimes to figure figuring figuring out uh, options in the future let me know if you need uh, additional information how the function works so i could for example place some um, help buttons around the around the select options in the dialogs with some few explanation how it how to use it and uh, what the result will be let me know if you need okay so now we know how to 
how to add to the library, how to draw them, how to edit uh, objects. Um, uh, let's let's uh, in this moment let's uh, make the meter cut. So when I draw the profile, please uh, see those, this hint. So when I draw the profile, I press one one end first end and. When I press the one one button, uh, one uh, oh. once again. So when I press, when I choose pipe start position, and uh, now I can select the end of the pipe. But I can in 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 that moment I can select the arrows from the keyboard and i lock the axis yeah so let's lock the to the red one and now i can let's uh, take uh, let's say take the length from from this object and press uh, this button yeah. okay let's uh let's draw for example few few uh, different pipes yeah yeah so i drew some pipes uh, uh, two two kind of pipes uh, okay but what i am going to show you it's a meter cut yeah so let's let's draw um let's draw one pipe in this direction and the second pipe in this direction and those two pipes did not touch it did not do not touch it, each other but the middle lines are across yeah so i delayed those edges to, to to see something more so now when i use the meter joint function it is tool so I select the tool uh, when I move the mouse above the part profile part made with this extension I select first one and I move above the second one we can see that the extension uh, see that those two parts has uh, the same middle line and the middle line is cross each other so at this point when I see this red line and I press mouse button it will create the meter cut yeah at this moment to create meter cuts for more than two objects I need to uh, the, the, there is no way to do that so uh, if I have more than two objects I need to select one by one every pair but like I said few minutes before uh, in future there will be option like for the profile cut it will be also option to to meter cut a uh, bunch of uh, profiles which is going to be much more um, uh, much quicker uh, to create more complicated shapes okay so we create some some pipes and the um, next step is to um, create some kind of documentation so I uh, put the button here documentation tools when you use it you will get the dialog when you can use some uh, useful features to create some kind of documentation it's not um, it's not the draw it's not our drawings or there is no integration to the sketchup layout at the moment but we will see in the future maybe i create some kind of uh, integration with the layout or maybe there are there are a uh, few other options to do that we'll see in the future in that in in this moment i can use the add button to create some uh, information about every pipe 
but the, the position of, of this information it's not always uh, perfect so when i select use the tool text tool i can use it uh, from here so tools text or i can use also or i can press also this button text tool so now i uh, select uh, select the tool button and um, now i can uh, change uh, now I can change the. Oh, <laughs> oh, not not like this, not like this, not like this. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So I can rearrange a little bit those those text to 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 make it uh, uh, clear. Of course. Uh, uh, this is not any particular uh, project yeah but uh, just to show you the uh, the, the idea uh, of this yeah so where I, uh, if I rearrange those uh, those info I can save the the image it will be the exact image of of the screen as as a png file png file uh, and after that uh, i can uh, uh, i can simply use the delete button to delete all of those uh, text uh, take a look that every text we place on the screen it's part uh, it's um, text that describe the part particular part and the length of it yeah so in the settings we can find two parameters numbering prefix and the numbering start so when i change the numbering prefix for example mm, part let's say or numbering and numbering prefix uh to to to, to 400 for example at this point yeah and when i draw the pipe this pipe yeah, this pipe oh, this pipe will have the the prefix as we said part and the numbering start number 400 also please see that when i copy the pipe so mm, use the move tool with the control control uh, button yeah so i simply cop copy the this uh, pipe and now oh, maybe not like this oh wapapa. maybe so let's select this and use this button this function yeah. Opa. okay so now you can see that even if i copy the pipe this pipe the number it's uh, the the next number yeah so you you do not need to think about the numbering of the pipes just just work as you need just draw the shapes and geometry you need uh, every pipe will be uh, marked uh, automatically yeah okay so we create some kind of some kind of uh, bunch of uh, bunch of pipes uh, let's delete those text marks using one button delete yeah so we uh, delay them in future uh, if there will be a need we can add uh, much more functions to to these documentation tools we will see maybe not delayed text tools or but uh, make them in the particular layer and uh, hide them or show height function uh, we will see but in this moment we we go to the next point so there is a 
bam, bomb button, so bill of material. So when we press it, we will create the report. And when we open the report, we can see that there is a few tables here. First table, it's it's a table of every part that we draw in the project. Yeah. So these are 16 parts at the moment. First, uh, we um, numbering uh, prefix was P, and the uh, numbering start uh, number was uh, 345. And then we change it to the part and the 400. So all of them uh, as, uh, are marked as, as we need it. And uh, there is also profile code name. And also there is a SKU number. So you can, you can see that this pipe has SKU uh, parameter set. So you know, we can simply uh, see that. There is a length of, of each pipe here. In the future, uh, there will be a function that uh, I can press the position of the table and the proper part will, will be selected in the project. Yeah? But there is no function like this at the moment. Next two tables are the summary, the, the list of the pipes uh, uh, the pipes uh, with particular profile code name. Uh, I'm showing you um, till now. I'm showing you only the pipes um, case, let's say. But there is more to come in this video also, and the extension has offered to you. Uh, but for now, we we work on on pipes. The next table is all overall length. So one one pipe with this profile code name is uh, forty thousand six hundred sixty four uh, millimeters. And next, there is a table with nesting means cut optimization. So in the settings, you have the parameter like bar length which is, mm, it should be 12,000 of millimeters, which is most common or 6,000 millimeters. Uh, so I changed this and uh, to, to make it, uh, mm, to use it with this report, I need to recreate report. I can close the window and open again or I can press the BAM button again and it will be calculated. Uh, please uh, see that the, the amount of position in this table uh, uh, mm, changed uh, because the bar length now is longer, the, the, the um, less bars we need to, to move, cut all those elements from from those bars yeah so you now you can see that uh, how many uh, bars of the profile you need and how to cut them to to get exact parts uh, that you draw in the uh, project and at the end this is a bar summary so you can see how many bars with this length you need to purchase uh, from your supplier to to meet uh, to create this project yeah in the future there will be also the um, also possible to add the price for the bus as well as the weight but uh, at the release version uh, it is like this and in the profile in the, the, the bomb report I'm going to show you also the full uh, unit support. So when you change units, for example, the precision, because now you can see that there's a, in millimeters, the length, uh, there's a um, mark that, uh, that means that it's uh, around this number. I can change the precision of the dimensions 
and again when I recreate all those di 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 dimensions uh, was uh, changed and recalculated so now I can see exact number uh, still it's not it's not this length but I can change again but of course I draw those pipes uh, as I uh, let's say without no any particular reason so the the length is uh, uh, quite um, uh, quite 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 not so uh, not so let's say uh, round okay let's change the dimension to the fractional one recreate yeah so now you can see the, the uh, imperial uh, length uh, also the architectural one uh, let's say boom yeah so as you wish you can change units as you wish but the profile code name will stay so uh, if you decide to add the name for the profile uh, some kind of uh, it will stay mm, in the reports everywhere but the dimensions the length and the dimension of the profile will change uh, um, based on what you need okay so uh, till now I describe you most of the details of the of the uh, of the let's say basic function of the extension but let's go to the uh, uh, more interesting function that that appear in this extension so we can add the round tubes we can add the rectangular one and also we can add the profiles yeah for example let's add the profile uh, uh, l profile yeah l profile and it will be uh 100 uh, oh maybe no 60 millimeters times uh, 40 millimeters times four millimeters yeah so let's choose the profile 60 uh, let's change to the millimeters be because it's it's my <laughs> uh, let's see my millimeters it's my yeah hey uh, 40 millimeters oh if we change the units uh, during we create the dimensions the the dimension will change uh, in that way so uh, please consider this okay 60 millimeters and four, four millimeters yeah. let's save it let's draw using this one yeah. uh, without length offset let's 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 draw uh, because I can also use the mouse to choose the second end of the uh, this profile or I can use the number num numeric buttons at this moment and I can uh, set exact length of the uh, profile so I press uh, 500 yeah. so now we create the angle 5 uh, millimeters long yeah and the same for every every profile uh, that we can choose from the list yeah but you can see that this profile is not so let's say maybe not perfect but uh, in real world the the, the 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 profiles don't look like this yeah because there is a always round uh, round shape yeah so that's why this extension allows allows you to add your custom profiles uh, so let's let's add one 
yeah to do that let's let's create let's draw one one profile i copy the this shape i copy this shape um oh, let's let's take a look on this and for example we would like to add the 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 the, the um, radius to the corners i use my mm, different extension round edges corners and let's make it oh exact five millimeters i don't know uh in real world probably it will it would be uh slightly different uh Mm, radius in the inner in the outer but for this uh for this situation let's leave it like this yeah so i i add it uh it it delays the 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 phase but let's 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 create one yeah so so now we we make the round rounded shape so also this extension from now on let's you custom uh, custom l 60 by 40 by 4 by 5 let's say like this or maybe okay maybe without that without the last one yeah so when we select the custom profile type mm. now I need to I need to show the face that uh, we are going to create the profile on so using this button add edit now there is information select one face from the model yeah when I don't select the face there will be a message that please select the face I can select face and edges it's not important is it's not uh, there is no matter save it so now we, we see that there is a, a check mark and save it yeah so now we added this profile here and in that moment when i press draw button and i change uh, draw like this i draw the profile exact like like we need before yeah so now we can create any shape any profile that that we would like to use please uh, also remember that if you create more complicated shapes and you use the more segments in the profile and uh, those arcs will have more segments uh it will uh, it will be uh, complicated and also it will work a little bit your model will work a little bit small uh, slower yeah just to just to warn you a little bit yeah but if you if you wish if you wish uh i can you should uh, okay so we create the custom uh, 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 angle profile but we can also create for example shapes more complicated for example let's create some kind of aluminium profile yeah so let's round the corners like before oh let's make 10 millimeters um, let's Mm, create some few holes uh, it's only for the for the mm, let's say demonstration purpose so that there is no uh, perfect uh, dimensions yeah but you get you get the point that yeah uh, so let's let's create more or less that kind of profile let's name it allo Hello. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. mm, let's measure this. So it's seventy by sixty-two. So seventy by sixty-two. And let's make it cost custom. Let's select the face, and um, yeah, let's save it. And now, 
please see that uh, uh, the, the extension also measure the, the profile and now I can draw I can draw the profile like this yeah and also when I make the bomb all of them will be in the bomb also I can uh, of course use any uh, any options that we can use for pipes and uh, provides like I described you before yeah so let's uh, let's change the the distance let's uh, mm, let's draw let's draw like this yeah let's minus minus little bit yeah let's let's create a meter yeah let's create oh there is a uh, some kind of issue probably because of the mm, because of the segmentation let let us check yeah because the segmentation 12 is uh, rather small for complicated shapes uh, so let's 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 mm, let's see how it looks like this yeah because you know 12 looks like this uh let let we let oh, okay so now the shape looks like this and let's see what what will happen if if we change no still not perfect yeah let's change it to 120 in the future mm, i'm going to also because those operations between those profiles are not solid objects operation operations it's uh, a little bit different way of work but in future i'm going to also implement the objects um operation to for example for that uh, more complicated shape shapes to to, to get better re results yeah yeah this is still some kind of problem uh okay i need to i need to uh, i need to see what's the the issue is uh, about that but i'm sure it's we can we can solve this yeah uh so this is all i would like to show you about the first release version of the extension there's a many things that can be add there's some things that should be uh improved like this this option before i am not going to hide it from you there are some cases that uh, we need to play a little bit uh, and uh, check why is that but uh, the extension in my opinion has big potential and it depends on you the users uh how quick and how much we are going to make this tool more useful and we mm, add mm, new functionalities so let me think what do you f uh, what, uh, let me know what do you think about this extension uh and uh, go further together with me thanks bye